To sign up with HandyFox Online, go to app.handyfox.online and click Create a HandyFox Online account. Here you need to enter your contact information, make up a password and choose the subscription plan you want to try. Pay special attention to the email you enter, because you will use it to sign in, and it cannot be changed later. Finally, enter your company name and choose the location and currency. On the dashboard, it will suggest the steps you may want to take next to continue setting up your HandyFox company. Let's look at some of them. The mobile app is essential to working with HandyFox Online. Many of the functions HandyFox offers are available only there. You can find and install the app on the Google Play Store, or if that doesn't work for you for any reason, try the direct download from our website via the QR code provided. You can give other people access to your HandyFox company by inviting them as users. This is the procedure you need to follow to give someone other than yourself the ability to work with the same data. If they instead go and sign up with HandyFox the way you just did, they will end up creating their own independent companies, which is not what you want in this case. You can also set the role and limit the permissions for those users according to their responsibilities. HandyFox lets you integrate with other business applications. As of the making of this video, you can connect your QuickBooks Online company and your Shopify store. HandyFox can keep in sync with QuickBooks by exchanging data about products, customers, inventory levels, transactions, etc. This and other data will be available on both ends. Likewise, HandyFox can load products and orders from Shopify and take over order fulfillment, allowing you to pick and pack orders from your online store inside HandyFox mobile app. Let's take a brief look at the rest of the web interface of HandyFox. If your account is brand new, there will be nothing to display on most pages at first, but for the sake of demonstration we will show a company that's already populated with items, customers and so on. The site manager lets you manage inventory sites and add new sites where inventory levels will be tracked separately. The device manager lists all mobile devices that are linked up to your company and lets you assign them to inventory sites. Under inventory you can view the item list, edit and manage the existing items and create new items, add and change product barcodes, view quantities on hand by site, review and approve inventory accounts done on mobile devices, transfer inventory and review past transfers. The Purchases section lets you add, edit and review vendor information, print existing purchase orders and assign them to other sites, and also generate purchase orders based on past sales rates or desired QOH levels. Under Sales you can Convert QuickBooks estimates into sales orders. Print existing sales orders or manually close them. And also see the list of existing invoices and print them. The Reports section gives you access to some reports on the current state of your company. All the main features of HandyFox, such as inventory counting, invoicing, etc., can be accessed through the mobile app. As said earlier, you can get the app by scanning the QR code provided or find it on the Google Play Store. Once installed, open the app and sign in using your HandyFox Online login and password. Then tap the Sync button to load your company data into the app. When the sync is finished, Tap on the check mark. Now the app is ready for work.